Hey, 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 hippies. It's your girl, Courtney Shavante, and I'm back with another amazing and courtrific tutorial for you guys. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> All right, but before we get started, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for me if you are new here, and make sure you also hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss anything that I do put out for you guys moving forward. All right, so to get started, what we're going to do is we're just going to add some resin into the rim of the ashtray mold. I am adding maybe about 30 millimeters um, to the mold, and I'm just concentrating it all into the rim. And then I'm also going to make sure that I have a nice even surface in there. So I'm going to be thinning this out with my heat gun. This is also going to help any bubbles that may need to come to the surface go ahead and rise and all of that um and just to make sure that you know you have all the bubbles out and everything i will also suggest taking a toothpick and just kind of going across each and every little crevice and everything because with these molds in particular those air bubbles can get trapped inside those tiny tiny little corners and also hit it with a little bit of alcohol and then that should clear up most of the bubbles um for you as long as you didn't have too many during the stirring process all right, so what we're going to do to get started first is we're going to be getting some charms. Now, these are the charms that I'm going to be using inside this particular ashtray. These are some silver crown charms. If you guys are really liking these charms, let me know below. Right now, I don't currently have any more available, but if you want them, I can make them happen. So make sure you let me know in the comments below. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and put these face down into the resin and I'm putting them into the um, tips of the little leaves and everything. And I'm using my toothpick to just kind of adjust everything, making sure that I have everything in place and flush how I want it. Um, I'm also going to be taking some other um, charms as well that I'm going to be placing into um like where the little dip is in the ashtray like <laughs> you know where you like put the cigarette or well we don't really do cigarettes here you know where you put your joint or your blunt and everything um yeah so in those little dips those are where we're going to put the other charms and everything excuse my head in the way i was just trying to make sure that they were straight i'm using my toothpick to make all the little adjustments that i need to and everything um, from here i'm also going to spray a little bit more alcohol just to make sure that any bubbles that did form while i was making those adjustments are out of the way those are the alcohol inks that I'm going to be using. Um, I got a new set, it's called Pixis, and um, I'm going to be using the snow um, color, it's a white color, and I'm just going to be adding a drop of alcohol ink right above each charm um, in the tip of the leaves. So just go ahead and add a drop or two um, into each tip. And then from there, you can use your toothpick to just kind of swirl it around, make it more interesting. This is just going to act as some like kind of sea foam, seashore water and everything. And then we're just going to let this sit and let this layer cure. All right, hippies, so once that has had a chance to cure, we're going to go ahead and come in with our next step. So what you're gonna see me do is I'm going to add a bit more resin into the um, rim of the ashtray. Um, this time I'm adding about 30 to 40 millimeters milliliters <laughs> excuse me and then i'm just like kind of pouring that in there and then i'm going to take these abalone shells these are real abalone seashells i will ha um, have them tagged below for you i'm not gonna lie that these are kind of pricey um you can find some other shells that and that are dyed and everything but i wanted the natural ones and everything so i have these linked below but i'll also try to find an alternate one for you guys as well for some who wants to you know just kind of do a more lower cost cost option and everything um but yeah so i'm just going to take these seashells i'm going to like just kind of push them into the resin submerge make sure that any bubbles that are trapped you know this will help them come up to the surface and everything just kind of you know um 
make sure they're not in the way because the bubbles like it can really ruin the piece if there's too many like no one minds like one or two or you know just like a couple here and there but it's just like come on come on all right but what we're going to do now is we're just going to mix some iridescent flakes with the remaining resin um that we have left over inside this little cup here and then we're just going to mix this up here it's just the, this thick little consistency here and what we're going to do is we're just going to pour these over the tips as well just to add a little bit um more in here make our ashtray more interesting and everything all right um excuse that and everything um i got a call that came in sorry all right i'm also trying to calm down on saying and everything because y'all called me out in the comments and <laughs> oh my bad i just be running out of stuff to say but yeah just go ahead and continue adding that resin on in there um you want to make sure that you do scrape it all out and then make sure you also spray the alcohol and pop the bubbles y'all excuse all these notifications um you know like you know when you have like the mac and everything all the messages and everything are synced and my sister is so freaking needy she's a pisces and she just wants my attention right now her name is tony make sure you follow her channel she's growing as well and you can also catch me on there sometimes when she's doing her vlogs i make sure i have her channel tagged below since she's insisting on making an appearance but yeah <laughs> just go ahead and you know continue popping those bubbles and everything spray that alcohol and then we're just going to allow this a chance to cure hey hippies all right so this is the fun part now we get to work with some color and everything so i went ahead and made four cups of mica powders i have a yellow i have a green i have a blue and i have a steel color as well and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pretty much put about um 40 millimeters uh sorry milliliters excuse me i put about 40 milliliters of resin inside of each cup and i'm just going to whip these up right quick and stir them up really really well and everything so we can get those colors dispersed um but first i'm going wait do i do it first one second here okay yeah i add in some glitter first before i do the mixing and i'm just adding a spoon of glitter into each one and i'm just adding different um combos just kind of based upon the colors and the shells and everything and um i i don't really know how to explain like how i <laughs> came up with the colors i just kind of looked through the shells and everything reflected them in the light and i just kind of mimicked what i saw um after i I separate the colors and everything I'm also going to you know um, get it mixed up really really well and then after I get that mixed up really well I'm also going to make sure I clean out the base of the mold so once I finish getting it mixed up and everything and cleaning the mold I'll be right back to kind of explain what I'm doing from there
all right after confirming that everything is mixed thoroughly what you're going to do is start with your lighter color and then you're just going to pour that into the tips and everything and then you're going to follow through with the second darkest and then um kind of pour that one in a layer the third darkest and then pull in with the fourth after you have all your colors kind of placed at the bottom then you can worry about like actually filling the mold and everything and just kind of coming through in a pattern as you see me doing here i'm just kind of alternating between the cups and everything and i'm just i'm pretty much going to use all this resin in here and just pour all of it into the mold um like i said um this is about 160 millimeters in total because i put about 40 milliliters of resin into each cup here so yeah just go ahead and continue on with each and every color you want to make sure that you get it poured into each respective place and everything and this is what's going to kind of create that um transition pattern that we're going for like with our mermaid scales and everything and just create that beautiful really vibrant background <laughs> vibrant background so after you get all the um resin out of the cups you can go ahead and spray a little alcohol to pop any bubbles going with a toothpick if necessary and then you're just going to let that cure hippies after your piece has completely cured you're just going to go ahead and wiggle this right arm from your mold start by pulling at each side of the mold and everything and you're just going to pull it pull it pull it all the way around and what this is going to do is it's going to loosen everything on up um, so that way once you get all the sides pulled up you'll be able to pull up that centerpiece with ease just go ahead and continue pulling 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 until you're able to set it free you do want to be careful because the edges can be really sharp so do take your time you do not want to cut your fingers in my earlier videos you'll see band-aids and tape all over my fingers and everything because I was always cutting my fingers and breaking my nails like during this process so <laughs> please be careful yeah but this is what we have so far she is gorgeous so let's go ahead and move on we are going to take our Pabeo outliner paint and this is in a silver color. I'm going to take a piece of paper just to make sure that the flow is coming out correctly. And then I'm just going to use the tip of that nozzle squeezing lightly. And I'm going to start um, like just hand painting each individual scale. So I find it easier to kind of go row by row and start at the very, very tip just kind of make a u shape and just keep going on across um the line with that u shape in like a horizontal line so i hope that makes sense and everything i'm just going to kind of continue doing that and whatnot and let you guys see like as i paint each piece i'm going to show you like the entire thing as well so you do want to you know be careful not to squeeze the bottle too hard because you don't want the paint to just like kind of gush out of the nozzle and um you know it's kind of hard to do that because this nozzle is very thin but you know just take your time and everything this whole process took me about 25 minutes or so i have it sped up on here so it's maybe about five minutes elapsed and everything um for you hippies um but in real time and everything especially with like you know trying to show it on camera and this really being the first time i've ever done this effect so um linda you were asking me in the comments if i plan out all my designs yes i did plan this one out but these mermaid scales is not what i planned on going with <laughs> with this particular design i don't remember exactly what i was going to do but once i thought of this like this just kind of took a hold of me and i just kind of went with it so that's just kind of a glimpse into the process and everything um yeah so you know if you guys are liking like a lot of the methods a lot of the glitters and a lot of the um you know charms and just different things that i am using here on my tutorials and everything make sure you do check out my etsy shop 
is an amazing place for all you luxury crafters and everything i have so many different things i have molds i have mystery boxes i have charms i have glitter mixes like it's so beautiful and it's so sparkly over there and you're definitely missing out if you haven't favorite favorited my shop yet so you know when you favorite my shop you know first hand like you know up front like you're, you're the first to know like when something is dropping because you get an alert you get an alert once you favorite the shop so i highly suggest you know you go over there just use the link below down in the description to do so and you know go get your stuff so that way you can create beautiful art just like this and get your coins sis go get your coins you know i'm full and full support of you know you guys using my art as inspiration to go get yours so speaking of inspiration also check out my tiktok and my instagram which is also linked below for you as well but yeah i'm not going to talk you guys heads off during this portion and everything i'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the time lapse and i'm going to catch you after this dries so we can go ahead and move forward with the rest of the tray and you guys can see how we finish off the look Hey hippies so that paint should be completely dry now so you do want to give it a couple hours especially if you um, are using um, you know it for the first time because it may come out a little thick so definitely make sure it's dry before you move on but what we're going to do is we're just going to take our Aurora powder and I'm going to just add just a tiny tiny little bit of this powder into um, a little cup here this tiny little medicine cup and I'm going to add maybe about 15 milliliters of this resin and I'm just going to whip it up with this stir stick this popsicle stick that I have here and you want to make sure that it has this nice little iridescent shimmer to it like that's kind of the goal of what I'm going for here so I did have to add just a little bit more just to kind of get the effect that I want and everything um, so once you have that um, kind of aurora glow that you want and you have it to your liking I'm going to take a very very fine glitter that I actually found at the Dollar Tree I'm just going to add just a tiny 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 little bit and then you want to mix that in as well because you do not want this glitter to overpower what we have going on at the base of this tray it's already so beautiful you do not want to interrupt what we got going on hippies all right so what you're going to do is you're just going to take that little mixture that we whipped up there and pour that right into the base of the ashtray um, after you get that poured you can take that same stir stick and just kind of make sure you get it all into the little nooks and crannies and everything make sure it's in all your corners and it's touching all the surfaces 
after you have confirmed that you can go ahead and come in with the heat gun just to further even it out and thin that resin just to make sure we have a smooth bubble free even surface here because this is the last and final surface feel free to also come in with some alcohol spray if necessary and then we're going to let this completely cure hippies Ta-da! All right, hippies. So here is our mermaid-inspired ashtray here. I am so excited for this particular cannabling ashtray. Um, this one, like, you know, it just really flowed to me and everything. I've never done anything like this before. This Pabello outliner paint has opened up so many possibilities and just so many designs for me. And I'm just having so much fun playing with it. I love how these abalone shells look in here. They're so natural and pretty pretty and just really upgrades the tray it really takes luxury to a new level in this whole 420 arena i love how these charms are really sparkling in here we have these bows and these crowns and they are just in here bling bling and i really love how the alcohol ink and the little tips of the leaves turned out it really just makes the tray look even more interesting and here's that side view like ba bam like yes hippies if you are loving this ashtray as much as i am make sure you leave a like and a comment for me i really love hearing from you guys it makes me so happy and really encourages me to keep on going and keep inspiring to make art like this for you guys um until next time hippies like i said i really appreciate you all being here and i will catch you on the very next video xo Mwah.